A hey, uh, Shalom. Just want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Wanti Halbashi Melshai, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well. And uh, peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect. Much love unto the Akim that's out there pushing this truth and sincerity and not for vain glory. Um, yeah, so I was just uh, scrolling around here on Drudge Report, right? And uh, I came across this article that is uh, posted on Yahoo Finance and it says, World's richest lose. 444 billion dollars after hellish week for markets and um, this is uh, posted on February 28th 2020 so this was just recent so two about two days ago um, so this is like the combined losses of all the billionaires and by the way these these billionaires they're really more like pop culture icons you know, when you really come to think about it, these are the these are the people that are going to be put in the forefront to to uh, keep the people from knowing who really are the wealthiest in the world. Because these aren't the wealthiest people in the world. Um, it would be these um, banking families, man, like the Rothschilds, the Gettys, the Duponts. Those are some of the richest people on the earth because they their money goes into the trillions. These are really just little guys. Um, they're just pop culture, pop culture icons for the people to look upon, right? So it can divert the attention away from the real elites that are controlling things behind the scenes. But um, what I really just want to go into um, is how, you know, when, when, when America falls, a lot of you rich men, man, you're going to lose a lot of money. And if you think the coronavirus is bad, when it comes to you losing money in the stock market, um, this is nothing compared to what um, is written in the Bible when when it comes to America's downfall. You're going to lose a lot of money. A lot of you guys are going to kill yourselves too. You're going to cry. You're going to weep. You're going to howl. Now, I also just want to say it, it's not so much the coronavirus when you really think about it. Um, it's not the virus itself. It's where the virus is situated because, um, you know, it, it's situated in China and China already has, you know, has already lost a lot of trust in the world, especially in the global economy, even though they control a lot, a large portion of, 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 the, of the goods that come out and that are, and that are distributed around the world, even though they, they own that. A lot of people don't trust China in general because they're known for being crafty and they're known for being shady. Um, they're, they're known for not following procedures and rules and certain standards, man. They just, anything goes with China. And you, and, and you, and you can tell by the way how um, their food is produced. Um, there's certain policies that they have for, for their own workers. Um, it's not really safe and it's not really healthy. Um, so, so that's where a lot of the uncertainty comes. That's why a lot of people are pulling their money back when you really think about it. It's not so much the virus. It's just the uncertain, uncertainty and mistrust that people have, you know, and that's why people are very scared. It's not so much about them getting sick. And you could see that. But, um, now a lot of people are invested in America today certain things because America is a cash cow. America is a consumer based nation. Without America, you know, this this place falls. If you really think about it. a lot of a lot of nations and rich men, they have a lot of money invested in America itself. Right? So I'm gonna get um Revelation, the eighteen chapter. I'm gonna start off at the tenth verse. It says standing afar off with the fear of her torment saying, Alas, alas, the great city Babylon, that mighty city, for in one hour is thy judgment come. And this judgment is going to come by nuclear missiles, ICBM, nuclear destruction. That's what the scriptures talk about. You can go into the book of Ezra's to read about that. There's a lot of scriptures uh, and a lot of books that uh, talk about nuclear destruction that's going to befall upon America, the United States, Babylon. Okay, that's its spiritual name, Babylon. All right, so that's what it's going into. 
Uh, verse 11, and the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her for no man buyeth their merchandise anymore. Yeah, and that's the merchants of the merchants of the earth are going into the rich man, you know, the businessmen, right? And it says, uh, the merchandise of gold and silver and precious stones and pearls and fine linen and purple and silk and scarlet and all thine wood and all manner of vessels of ivory and all manner of vessels of most precious wood and of brass and iron and marble and cinnamon and odors and ointments and frankincense and wine and oil and fine flour the wheat and wheat and beasts and sheep and horses and chariots and slaves and souls of men right because a lot of people over here sell their souls and um you know the elites through the spiritual demon Satan. They own they own a lot of men's souls, right? And they have a lot of slaves. You know, a lot of you workers, a lot of you people that work these jobs that that have a birth certificate, that have a passport. You know, you're all a part of this system as well. You 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 citizens too, because all every citizen here is a slave, whether you want to believe that or not, man. That's why you have a birth certificate, like I just mentioned. And all those things, you know, cinnamon, odors, um, all these stuff, they're, they're precious um, precious spices, man. All of that is going to be lost over here. All of it. All of it. And that's what, that's what uh, America has. They have all these precious things. And a lot of these, merchant, these merchants, they invested into, the, into these things, man. But all of that is going to be burnt away, man. So... So the global economy in that time is going to be finished. It's going to be bankrupt. People are going to start howling. Um, so verse 14. And the fruits that thy soul lusted after are departed from thee. And all things which were dainty and goodly are departed from thee. And thou shalt find them no more at all. The merchants of these things which were made rich by her shall stand far, afar off with the fear of her torment weeping and wailing yeah because uh, they have so much invested so much time so much money so many years i believe saudi arabia they own a percentage of the united states i forget the percentage but they own a lot of it um, you have china they invested in this place all these superpowers right um you know, uh, there's there's many things that I just can't remember right now that they own. I was reading about it. I just can't remember it. But a lot of you guys, you're going to be, they're going to be in straits, man. They're not going to know what to do. They're going to be weep, weeping and wailing. They're going to be scared. Uh, verse 16, it says, And saying, Alas, alas, that great city that was clothed in fine linen and purple and scarlet and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls for an one hour so great riches is come to naught, and every shipmaster and all the company and ships and sailors and as many as trade by sea stood afar off and cried when they saw the smoke of her burning, saying, What city is like unto this great city? And you know what you know what made this place great? You tribes, man. All those years that they invested in keeping you in bondage by keeping you as subjects and slaves and stealing your land, especially you Gadites and you uh, Reubenites. Pretty much um, the northern kingdom, because you pretty much owned this land before these devils came over here. You know, they're going to lose everything they stole and they're going to pay for what they did to you. You know, and it took a long time for them to do to to uh, to own this place, it took hundreds of years to get it to where they wanted it to be. But for in one hour, which is a very short time, this place is going to be destroyed, and everything that they did, you know, everything that they sacrificed, all the rape, all the robbery, all the murder, is going to be destroyed in an instant, man. And they're going to lose everything, man. And that's beautiful. So, you know, we should be rejoicing when we read this and you should be rejoicing when you see things like this because this is just a prelude to what's to come. You know, if you think this is bad in the stock market, wait till you see this. And, you know, hopefully I live to see this. 
Hopefully I live. Hopefully I live. Hopefully I get to sip some wine on that ship. Watch this place burn to the ground. Watch it burn to the ground. Burn, baby, burn. I'm going to tap dance while I'm on that sea of glass. I'm going to tap dance on that shit. I'm going to tap dance so hard when I see that shit. Lord willing. Lord willing. All right, so, you know, and this is what we should be looking forward to. You know, I can't wait to see you rich, pompous men weep and howl, man. I can't wait to see you fucking howl. All right? It's going to put a smile to my face. And it's going to put a smile to Yahweh Bashim Shai's face. Verse 18. And cried when they saw the smoke of her burning, saying, What city is like unto this great city? That's right, and you're never going to get a city like this ever again. The only great city that's ever going to emerge out of the ashes is the kingdom of heaven. <laughs> that you're going to build when you're in slavery. <laughs> and I'm going to be cracking that whip. Right? And you know, they're saying really... They're crying because now their cash cow is gone. And really, they don't love this place. It's really called butcher love. If you ever heard that term, butcher love. They only like America because it makes them that money. Other than that, you're just a fucking cash cow. You don't. They don't really care about you. Right? So anyway, it says, And they cast dust on their heads and cried, weeping and wailing, saying, Alas, alas, that great city wherein were made rich, all that had ships in the sea by reason of her costliness, for in one hour is she made be, made desolate. And you know, the, the you know the the transition of rulership is going to change, and the roles of of certain men that they have on this earth it's going to be switched, because right now you know we have dust, and we are putting on sackcloth upon our heads. We're weeping. Right, but now that's gonna flip. You rich men, you're gonna weep in that day. You're gonna know what it's like to fast. You're gonna know what it's like to repent or to cry, to feel pain, to be poor, right, or to be broke. Not poor, broke, because you know a, a lot of the men in the truth. You, you, well, you do have poor men in the truth, but you, and you have men that are broke, and then you have men that are rich, right? There's a different combination, but a majority of the people who believe in the Lord, they're going to either be poor or they're going to be broke. Right? And in that day, you people are going to... Shut the fuck up, man. Fucking Satan, man. Shut the fuck up. Stupid ass phone. But you're going to feel what it's like in that day to be broke and poor. All right? You're going to feel like a bitch. You're going to feel like when you're going to lose every goddamn thing and you have no power to get all that shit back. Right? So uh, rejoice over her, thou heaven, and ye holy apostles and prophets, for the Most High hath avenged you on her. And that's all the Lord avenging us, man. Avenging us, man. That's payback. And yet, guess what? Payback's a bitch. That's revenge. Okay? The Lord did that. Yal Bashim Yashai did that. Now it says rejoice over her. Yeah, who's going to be rejoicing? Like what I said earlier, I'm going to tap dance on that sea of glass. I'm going to rejoice. The elect is going to rejoice. Thou heaven and ye holy apostles and prophets. For the Most High hath avenged you on her. And a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone. And cast it into the sea. Saying, thus with violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down. And shall be found no more at all. Mm. So the Lord's going to, what's that great millstone? Well, yeah, that starts now with what we're doing. Great millstone pushing this truth because we're blowing up the place with these scriptures all over the all over the planet Earth globally. But that great millstone represents ICBM missiles, man, thrown into the sea. Boom! And it's going to blow this place up. I know it sounds crazy, but it's true. It's true. Okay, so it says, Thus with violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down. So violence, and violence isn't pretty. Violence is brutal. So that's how Babylon is going to go out with violence because that's how Babylon was built with violence. This place was built with blood. So it's going to go out with bloodshed and shall be found no more at all. So it's going to be like Babylon never existed. It's just going to fade away, man. And the voice of harpers and musicians and of pipers and trumpeters shall be heard no more 
at all indie. Yeah, all your music is gonna be gone. All that, all these good music that you once had, all of it's gonna be gone. All those pleasant things that America produced, all the stars that they produced, you pop culture icons, you celebrities, all that's gonna be gone. And no craftsman of whatsoever craft he be shall be found anymore in thee. Yeah, all your great inventors, all you, all you uh, wise men that came out of this place, you're no longer going to be here. And the sound of a millstone shall be heard no more at all in thee. And the light of a candle shall shine no more at all in thee. And the voice of the bridegroom of the bride shall be heard no more at all in thee. For thy merchants were the great men of the earth. For by their sorceries were all nations deceived. That's right, through your witchcraft. And um, uh, Babylon, Babylon, or that whore, is, is basically the mistress of witchcrafts. Okay? And that's how they deceive this earth, you know, with that wine, with those ideologies, those doctrines. Right? With your, with your uh, credit. Okay, with your FRNs, all of that's witchcraft, your petrol dollar. You know, you have money that's backed by nothing. That doesn't even make fucking sense, man. That's witchcraft, man. Because real money is backed by substance. And that, ha that, that cannot change. That cannot change. That's how it's always been going through any era or any time that, that mankind has existed. You had to have some type of, of, of solid, tangible money which is gold or silver to back anything. But in this wicked kingdom, a lot of you people are deceived that, uh, you know, you don't need gold. You don't need silver. I'm talking about people who aren't aware of, of what real money is. And a lot of you you people in America, you're very ignorant when it, when it comes to um, what real riches are, right? So you're deceived, man. And that's all sorcery. And you can thank the elites. You can thank, thank the so-called white man. Especially you stupid jakes, man. You know, up there with your little $10 bills. You know, uh, flashing your $1,000 bills in the club. Thinking you got shit. You know, you don't got real money, man. Those are just debt notes. FRNs, Federal Reserve notes. So you're deceived, man. China's deceived. All you guys are deceived, man. And, and you know what? Uh, the Lord is not mocked. At the end of the day, the Lord's going to laugh. And the Lord's laughing at you now, man. Look at these fools. Look at you fools. You fools. You infidels, man. You clowns. Thinking that you got shit. Alright. Verse 24. And in her was found the blood of prophets and of saints and of all that were slain upon the earth. That's right. And we were slain over here. Especially the prophets. And Yahweh was slain over here. Because he's a prophet too. Because they, they crucified Yahweh a second time over here by defiling his name. And then on top of that is men and the saints, all the blood of the Israelites that were spilled over here. You think you ain't going to pay for that? You think you ain't going to pay for that shit? You treat, the, you treat uh, the, the Native Americans over here like garbage, man. You treat the so-called black man like garbage. Okay, and, and all the saints that were killed, man, maybe that were, that were a confusion of face, were treated like shit. All right? So anyway, that's all I really wanted to read. You know, I hope this was edifying. You know, good riddance to this place. I'm happy to see this. Bye-bye billions, man. Bye-bye to all your riches. You're going to lose everything. So uh, with that, just want to give all praises, glory, and honor. Do unto you how Hashem Yoshai, Bahashem Rakak Dash, and uh, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect. And if you don't like what I got to say, man, get the hell off the channel, man. Unsubs you know, don't even subscribe, man. I don't care if I get... If I get uh, if I get one view, man, you know I'm doing this for the Lord. I ain't doing it to to entertain you people, man. I could care fucking less if you like what I gotta say, man. But I'm gonna be bringing out these scriptures, man. I'm gonna bring out the word. And if you don't like, get the hell off, man. And with that, shalom.